Hello, my internet family. How are you guys? Welcome to home update number seven. I was looking back at how long ago I posted the last one and it was almost two months ago. So it's definitely been a while. Um, and I have so many fun things to share with you guys. I feel like we really are making some like significant progress around here, upstairs, downstairs. I have so many fun things to share with you. And I never watch my old videos. Like after I post a video, I cannot watch myself. It makes me cringe, but I do watch the house updates before I film the next one just so i know what i've shared where i left off and i show you guys like everything that's new since then so some things you may have seen if you saw like a decorate with me or shop with me i'll show you where i put those items and then i know for sure there's a lot of things i have not shared that's why we're here so i hope you enjoy this walk around chit chat house update home decor chat style video if you're new here please subscribe i'd love to have you please like if you enjoy the video and let's get started So I usually like to start these home updates in the dining area. This has just been like the bread and butter project these last several months. I've been working on this literally from scratch, from nothing. Um, and I did have to shut the shutters and the blinds. The sun is just pouring in right now. But since our last home update, we finally have the built-in here. And we did just put on the hardware. I showed that in a do-it-all video. It makes the biggest difference. I'm so obsessed. And I did the same hardware that is in the kitchen. So I'll flip around to that um, in just a second. I really think it helps to make it seem like this was always here. And we have friends who came over who said that's exactly how it looks. So I'm excited about that. The last um, significant thing I need for the built-in are the cushions. So I've been chatting with a couple of Etsy stores and they all have recommended the same fabric. So I'm gonna put it on here. I just wanted to show you guys so you can tell me what you think before I order. It's just essentially part of like a really common fabric line that's very durable. And I mentioned it's for a dining area. I have a three and a half year old. I need something that isn't impossible to keep clean. So this is sort of like the best option that fits my style. What do you guys think? I really just want to order it today um, and get that done. So let me know what you think. But honestly, that's like the only option several stores have recommended to me. So I'm probably just going to go with it. And then I will definitely be switching out um, some pillows over here. Once that comes in, I still need a ginger jar that's just like very loud and proud and large for this corner. I just want to do one really large one. But for now, I'm just kind of working with what I have. I've shared these chairs before. And then this is from At Home. I did a shop with me um, at At Home. I love that store. Sort of like Home Goods, sort of. Um, the flowers, the vase, and the plate, all of that is from At Home. And this is where I was just standing. So I wanted to ask you what you think about this mirror for right here. I just think it's a great option. It's a great deal. It's from at home. Um, the only hesitation I had and why I wanted to show it in a video first is I don't know if it's a little too much white. I know I have a lot of white going on but it also is very cohesive with everything I have. So tell me yes or no, that is something I can literally have done and up and on the wall in the next couple days. So my office, we're just going to touch on real quick because I did talk about this in a do it all video, but I did decide in here, I'm going to do white lattice walls. Um, I talked about lattice and I said I wasn't sure if I was doing white or blue or what color, but I do feel like the white on white is just going to be the safest. There's going to be a lot going on in here, so I don't want the lattice to like be really overwhelming. I still want your eye to be able to move and see everything going on. And I did start painting it white after I filmed this video. I'm going to paint for the next couple of hours and for the rest of the day uh, and get it significantly further than it is right now. But I just think it has such like a Florida feel, a little bit of a coastal feel. It is somewhat of a unique option, but it's not like strangely out there. And then once I have that done, we can work on a really cool light fixture. So significant update um, on that coming very soon. I did also put these beads on this table in that do it all video, a very small detail, something I've wanted to do for so many months now. I just had like super glue um, and these small beads I bought on Amazon. It is a look for last of a much more expensive table and I'm really happy with how that one turned out too. 
Um, but I do have a fun little update to share in here. So we did just get a new cooktop and I'm working with Fotile a little bit on Instagram. That's how I heard about this, but it's just like a super, super nice brand, professional grade quality. Um, it's been a great upgrade for Chad. He's obsessed with it as am I. And I also have told you guys before that one of the upgrades I want to do is this hood vent, but I try and only do like one semi-large project at a time. So um, I was about to start the laundry room project. I mentioned that in the last home update, but since we're here, what should I do next? Should I do the hood vent and then the laundry room or the shelves and then the hood vent? It's gonna be a big, big difference. And I found that before we even actually were in the house. Um, it's always been like a further down on the line project, but since we have this, I'm like, okay, should I just like finish that area? So that's pretty much the only update I have in here. I've already shared all of this new hardware and whatnot, same hardware um, that's over here just to kind of follow through that look. And then since our last home update, I don't think a ton of stuff has changed in here. I put that table um, all together in the last home update, but all of this decor on it is new that I did in a decorate with me. I did take the pillow out from underneath. I think that will probably end up in forest room. Some of you thought it looked a little bit weird, but for now, I'm very, very happy with this space. Okay, I just wanted to swing over here and give you a different view while I talk about these frame TV frames. By the way, this is at home and at home, kind of like a Serena and Lily look for less. So yes, I ordered a white one for down here, a blue one for upstairs. And I think the brand is called Art Deco that makes like the really cool and just like wide picture frames for frame TVs, but they're so expensive. Um, and since I'm doing so many projects, I just felt like I didn't want to do that. So I found someone a little bit cheaper um, on Etsy and they are a lot more simple. So since I don't know how it's going to end up down here with you know projects I want to do eventually with the built-ins and whatnot, I just felt like these were a safer option. They don't take up as much space. And I feel like regardless of what I do, Upstairs or downstairs, it still is going to fit and be cohesive. I ordered those a couple weeks ago and they still have a few more weeks. I think they take like four to six weeks, but once I actually have those, we can pick out some really beautiful pictures. I already know what I want to do upstairs, so I'll show you that picture once we get up there. Um, it will make a significant difference though because everyone has a TV, obviously like a black <laughs> square on the wall, but I do think it'll look extra nice having a painting there and it will be so much more cohesive with the rest of the space. So we are about to work our way upstairs, but first I have three really fun things to share in this hallway. The first being this calendar that is just such a great find. So I found this on Amazon. We do actually write on it. I'm sure it's obvious, but I just had to erase it um, for the video. This is a great, great deal. This is the second smallest size. So it's 18 by 24. They do have a lot of different sizes to choose from. Um, and I just think it's so practical. So essentially, um, they let you pick what you put up here. So put your last name, obviously. And then I could put whatever I wanted on the bottom. So this one is notes. This one is don't forget. And having it right here is just like really, really practical. We were going to put it in the dining room, but I didn't want to be staring at this while we're eating dinner. I didn't feel like it would really fit there. We were going to put it in my office, but then we thought we'd forget about it. So this is at least like somewhat out of the way and out of like all of the decor while still being cohesive with the decor. And of course we walk by it a million times a day. So highly recommend, I'll link it. It was way more affordable on Amazon than pretty much anyone I could find on Etsy. We're going a little bit dark for a second so you can actually see these two new light fixtures. Just put these up last night and I need to get a close up for you. They're very, very cool. They're a great deal. They come in the white color that we have, pink and blue. I think there's only one size. I could be wrong. Of course, I'll link as much as I can. Do you see the detail on it? So, so pretty. The other one is exactly the same. The only thing I need to do is find some light bulbs that are just like really cool looking on Anthropology or a website like that because um, it is a light bulb sticking out on the bottom. I don't know if you can see, but it's not like that hidden. I do want like 
every room, every hallway to feel like its own space that is still cohesive with the rest of the house. So I have a million more fun light fixtures to find. And then the last thing down here is this picture. So just a small update, but we did just put this picture frame up right here. And then I have a bunch of these prints I bought on Amazon and I framed them in the bathroom. So it's just one of the leftover prints from there, but really cute, really affordable, honestly. This was probably like $15 at most, frame from Home Goods, print from Amazon. So I think it's really cute without spending a ton of money. And welcome to my bedroom. I have a novel to talk about in here, so I hope you're ready. But the first and most exciting thing are these curtains. We just hung these last night. The second I saw this fabric, I found this store on Instagram had to have it so it's called pepper home they do a lot of like home fabrics textiles a lot of custom curtains essentially it's all like a custom thing but i did want to tell you um if you go on there and are searching for curtains search in standard sizing if you can depending on your space these are 96 inches at first i typed in 95 but i just wanted to play around and see how much things cost and 96 was way less money than 95 so you know like 72 96 108 all of those are standard lengths for curtains and they do have an option to put tassels um, on the inside. I'm going to try and do that on my own because it was just like way more money if they do it. Some of you will notice they are a little bit short. That's on purpose. I ordered some acrylic rings from Ballard Design. So I don't know if you can tell. It's a little bit short on purpose. So as soon as I have those rings here, they will fall all the way down. I just like had to get them up. I couldn't take it. I feel like, um, Window treatments really make a house a home, you know? They just feel like so much more finished. And then the rods are not Ballard Designs, but they're a look for less of Ballard Designs. It's an acrylic rod with a gold on the end, and those are Amazon. So I will link those. I have the 48 inches. It fits like perfectly. We still have um, some things to finish on this like faux ship left. We have to caulk up there still, so it's not like 100% done, but hey. Any progress is good progress. And then another really exciting update is this rug. So. The only thing is it's back ordered. It doesn't arrive until May. And I ordered it on Wayfair because they had a sale there, but it was full price on Rifle Paper Co. And it was in stock there. So for, you know, six or eight weeks of waiting, it saved me hundreds of dollars. I felt like I just had to do that. And as you can see, this rug has orange in it. So if you look at a color wheel, they have orange across from blue and they're complementary of each other. I've always loved orange and blue together in home decor, but I never have done it before, as a lot of you know. So I really wanted to try it in here. And it's just going to give this room like such a fun and unique feel. Um, I'm going to call this room like a colorful yet coastal style because I do want to follow through with the elements I'm doing downstairs to have a coastal feel but add a lot more personality in this space still having a lot of white um, but still packing a punch with color like finding a happy medium between the two and I still don't have artwork up here I just want to find like the right thing and now that I know I want to do the orange and blue together I'm really looking for a water painting that has orange so like sunset but then a lot of blue to tie into the bed and the drapes and then the frame that will be on this tv and the pastel artwork so we're getting there guys it's taking some time but we are well on our way um haven't found the perfect light fixture sort of like the painting it just needs to be the right thing and then i am about to start a project for an arched style mirror so i have an arch mirror in my office and here it's going to be even larger and the reason i feel like it needs to be an arch is because i just want to break up all of the like square and rectangle shapes of all of the windows right here and then i'm going to do a diy with shells um, again i want like that floor to feel and i could not find i have been looking i have not been able to find a very cool mirror especially in the price range i want to spend so we're gonna diy it together and i will be starting that project next week i'll share it um, in some sort of a video and i still need hardware for um this dresser haven't found the right thing either the black is not gonna stay um and then the last thing i've done 
is we hung this artwork. So this was in our last bedroom, just been sitting in the corner for the last several months. I did center it on the wall so when the door is open, obviously it hides part of it, but I think it makes way more sense to like actually center it. The last thing, or I guess the last two things, this table is just like a for now. As soon as I eventually find something um, that fits a little bit better, I will probably switch it out, but I don't hate it right here. I do need baskets for those nightstands, but I just wanted to ask you, what should I do on this wall? I don't wanna do anything like really crazy. I don't need a focal point over there, but I want to put something there. Should I do like a series of photos? I don't know. Let me know what you think, but again, this room started out as like an empty box, so I do feel like we have made some significant progress for sure. And as usual, I'm sure I talked your ear off, so sorry about that, but fun things coming, guys. We're about to do this DIY. I'm gonna order stuff for that today, um, and I just like finally significant progress, you know? So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you're excited um, to see what's coming. If you did enjoy this video, please like it, subscribe, let me know your thoughts. I literally filmed these to hear from you and talk about this stuff together and figure it out together. So thanks again for watching. I'll see you right here in a few days in a brand new video. Bye.